Hey guys, it is Michelle. So we are back in the horrible um, hallway because it is raining. It's supposed to rain for the rest of the week. So at least we got one video filmed outside, right? And I apologize for the breakouts. It's gotta love the hormones, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm showing you today's outfit of the day. Um, it is a rainy day, so the shoe I'm wearing isn't the greatest, but it works as well. Um, so. Yeah, my hair is a wreck because I just got home and the rain just does terrible things to the hair. Ugh, terrible. And I look tired because I am tired. Hey, fun stuff. Anyway, let's get into the outfit, guys. So, hello. Okay, so I got this cover up a few years ago now. I purchased it at the Goodwill or the Salvation Army. Something like that. It was at a, a thrift shop for like $2. Um, I haven't gone thrifting in forever. Um, I do love thrifting, as you guys know. But I do feel um, this little... It's actually raspberry-ish. No. Actually, I think it is showing up true to color. It's not really a raspberry. It's more of a purple. Like a neon purple. It is coming on camera the way it should. Which is... Actually, very nice. Normally, it doesn't happen. Um, the reason why I wore this is because the top that I'm wearing has no sleeves, and for work, I do not wear sleeveless tops. I know some people think it's okay for an office setting. I personally don't agree. Um, I love this top, though, because as you can see, it's got this beautiful sheer with a little bit of glitter on it. I love that. So I love the look of the mock turtleneck, but obviously, I'm not wearing this look. Um, by itself but you still get the cute it's still very cutesy absolutely love it this top i ended up purchasing from tj maxx so, yeah um the pants although these pants are a bit big on me so i keep having to pull them up because they're pretty big um and the pantyhose aren't helping either everything just it's a little big but that's okay even though i feel like i haven't lost that much weight but they're still pretty big, but I did get these from a website that I love online, um, and they did fit pretty well. I still love the look of them. They're just a size too large on me now, but they still, there's nothing wrong with them, so I gotta pull them up every now and again. I still think they're very nice. So, let's get to the shoes. Now, I did wreck my pair of pantyhose today, so you'll see that. You can probably see the run already. So this is a pair of dream pairs. I love this slingback, and I, I feel like the slingback is making a huge comeback. We saw a lot of mules in um, the past couple seasons, but I am loving the slingback. And this is by Dream Pairs. Um, very comfortable heel, at least for me it is. Yeah, look, I completely destroyed this one. It's okay. But for a faux leather shoe, this one, is really nice. The only thing I don't like is the t with a pointy tip, the tips tend to get destroyed. I did see that there are tip, um, like you can protect the tip of the shoes. I'm going to get some of those. I haven't taken the nail polish off. I know I said I was going to. I just, I haven't had the time that I normally have, guys. So, yeah, it sucks. And these are going el goodbye tonight. But yeah, between the silkiness of the hosiery and how large these pants are on me, I keep falling down. I'm always trying to stretch the ligaments in my toes from wearing heels all the time. You gotta take care of yourself and that includes your foot health. I know that it's not something that people typically talk about. I should do a video what I do, especially with wearing high heels as often as I do. I mean, I do take breaks. I will wear a ballet flat um, to take a break from the heels, but you do need to do more for your health of your feet than just that. Okay, well, you can see, yeah, you can still see the run. I mean, I didn't think it was that noticeable at work today when it finally did. Um, Create the hole. I do love this shoe. 
It's just an easy to wear heel. And I'm hoping, because I got plans this weekend, I'm hoping the weather holds out for a shoe that I want to wear. It's going to be such a cute outfit, I think. I'm going to finish putting it together. But... Alright guys, we're going to do the walk. So let me put you down. And I'm going to adjust my pantyhose because this is a pair that's a little big on me. So they keep falling. This keeps falling. It's just a mess. But it wouldn't be a Michelle outfit of the day if we didn't do the walk. So let's do the walk. I do love this color, although I don't think this color is really in anymore. I'm a jewel tone girl. Like I see that mint is making a comeback, and of course coral comes back for summer, I feel, every year. And coral, I have a coral dress, but I do feel it washes out my features. But I am excited for the mint to make a comeback. It's one of the few pastel colors I enjoy wearing. I should do a sit and talk about fashion. How would you guys think about that? I'm like, I know I've been in comments about the carpet in here. It's clean. It does get vacuumed regularly. It's just ancient. Um, it was shampooed not that long ago. But, I mean, I probably could use another shampooing, but it wasn't that long ago. It's just old, guys. This place was built almost 50 years ago going on now. So, I mean, it's up there. So, I'm sorry. I don't like it either. I'm hoping to find a place of my own one day, and then this background will be different. I mean, I could try in the art room, but the, it's it's the same. It's got ugly carpet and walls. Just the wood paneling in there is white. The people who built this place did not have taste, I guess we'll say. It's a good way of putting it. But one day, we won't be in this house, and I look forward to that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going, but I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.